on, the TV's on. Thank you for coming this evening. I will call the meeting to order. Item two on our agenda would be roll call. Alderman Hanna, would you please do the roll Thank call? You, I will. Uh, Born. Here. Bow. Here. Gesher. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kittleson. Here. Clayunas. Here. Meyer. Here. Montemore. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Verhassel. Here. Wongelman. Not excused. Okay. We have uh, one. Alderman Manning, Rinfleisch, Ryan, and Smith are excused. Yes. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Moving on to item number three is RC number 126708, and that's by the Motor Vehicle Review Committee. And these are the recommendations that the committee recommended for the potential use of portions of the Motor Vehicle Fund. Um, I'm not going to read the whole list. Um, I would turn this over to Alderman Hanna, who was the chair of that committee, and let him give um, would the you, summary. Would you, would you like a, a motion to uh, approve and send it with a favorable recommendation, and then we can open for discussion? I would make a motion that we uh, forward these recommendations to the full council with a favorable recommendation. Second. There's a motion and a second to send the recommendations to full council with a favorable recommendation. Under discussion, Alderman Hanna. Thank you. Uh, let me just give you by way of some, some background. Um, the city currently has approximately a $12 million unfunded pension liability that is growing at 8% a year. So it's a substantial debt and it's growing quite rapidly. The Motor Vehicle uh, Review Committee uh, recommended that we use a portion of the Motor Vehicle Fund in addition to 1.6 million uh, that our accountants uh, informed us was available because of uh, lower liability for unfunded vacation and sick leave, which brings it to a $6 million total. And finally, to borrow the remaining funds, approximately 5.9 million from the state trust fund at 6% uh, to pay this debt off. And the way that, that I like to view it is, you, is right now you have a motor vehicle fund that's earning 5% interest. You've got an unfunded pension liability that's costing you 8%. And we have the ability to retire $6 million of that with money that we have on hand. 8% interest versus what's earning 5%, so it's a 3% positive spread to do that. And then we have the ability to borrow another $5.9 million from the state at 6%, which is still a 2% spread over what the unfunded pension liability is costing us. The side benefit from my perspective is in some money that you borrow from the state trust fund, that becomes a loan that you have to amortize and pay off. So it forces us to get out of debt. Right now, that unfunded pension liability, the terms uh, are way too friendly and it's growing way too fast. Thank you. Alderman Clayhunas. Thank you, Chairperson um, Meyer. I also concur with uh, Alderman Hanna and I also think um, it would be good if somehow we could also consider how we could keep up our, keep our zero balance on the liability in years to come because otherwise it'll be just like paying off your credit card and then letting debt grow again. Absolutely. And that, you know, that's, that's really nasty after a couple of years when you, you feel good about it and then all of a sudden it's back right there in your face. So I would encourage us to consider in the coming year's budget, 2009, I would say, uh, how we can keep this liability current, I mean, keep it at a zero balance and keep our obligations to pension fund at a zero balance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Meyer. Uh, first of all, you're, that was an excellent point. I think we all would lose. I know I often have lost sight of that when we pay off the 12 million and we're wonderful, but that really isn't the case. People retire all the time and the calculation is there. So uh, thank you for bringing that. I had it completely on my notes uh, escaped me. Um, maybe uh, if Chairman, uh, you were Chairman Mark of the 
of the committee, and I, I was fortunate enough to make two presentations to that committee regarding how do we fund the vehicles if, in fact, we pay this off. And my calculations and, and illustrations that I um, provided showing taking a larger amount out of the pension fund than four, pardon me, out of the motor vehicle fund than 4.4 million. Frankly, I looked at draining it. Um, if I understand this, this right, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll leave it as is because it's my, if I understand this right, and I guess that's what I'm looking to, we pay, right now we're paying, we're not even paying the full amount of interest that's due. We're basically paying interest on interest on a compounding basis. And within 11 years, this $12 million debt turns into $24 million, if I recall the, the amortization. And that's a, that's a wonderful gift to my kids, who hopefully will be buying a house in Sheboygan at some point. So I think it's, uh, this obviously needed to be tackled. And my end of the presentation had to do with what do we do next after we pay it off. But am I right in thinking that if you take the 4.4, we suck in the 1.6, and, and this all relates to effect on the budget. And, and we borrow then the, the difference to pay off the, the 12. The, eff the, the effect is going to be probably neutral right now because the principal and interest on 6 million at 6% is just about what our minimum payment is now for the... The minimum payment that was, wasn't even quite even paying the interest. Correct. I think that's, obviously you work the numbers backwards to come to that. Um, and I think that's wonderful. So the effect on the budget is zero. And we're, paying, we're actually paying the debt down based on this. Uh, this is, uh, I was honored to, to, uh, to present to that committee because this is vitally important. Uh, and the whole council taking this up um, and addressing this. And I don't know why other councils haven't addressed it uh, over not just last year or the year before, but forever. Um, I, I don't know. But I, I think it's wonderful that we're all pulling together and doing that. In the past, um, councils have looked at this, and they've studied it hard, and they've come to the conclusion that not now. Shank, who does our accounting work for the city, strongly endorses that we pay this off. And if I could follow up, yes. uh, Chairman Meyer, on a, from a bond standpoint, is that effect neutral or it's positive? Neutral. neutral. Okay, because we're lowering reserve funds technically, but we're paying, we're, we're subsequently paying off debt. So those who are concerned about paying money out and screwing up our bond rating, that would be untrue. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Gisha. Alderman Verhassel. Thank you, Ms. Mrs. Chair. Uh, can I ask Alderman Hanna, what would be the negative effect of, I guess as Alderman Gisha termed it, draining it? I wouldn't necessarily... I recommend draining it, but taking it down even a little bit further, say, to a million-dollar balance. What would be the negative or the downside to that? I can't think of any. Well, maybe we would like to ask um, Deputy Director Dave Beeble. Um, would you have an answer for that? Please. I guess when we, we met as a motor vehicle review committee, which I was a part of, we, we looked at a number of scenarios. Um, one of the things, if we start taking it down too far, our current internal rate of return, what we, we charge in, internal rental rate on the motor vehicle equipment, and that's earning X amount of dollars. The interest earnings right now on that big pot of money that's sitting there helps offset some of the shortfalls that we haven't really adjusted those rates to cover some of the operational expenses and fuel costs and that. So my only fear is if it gets drawn down too far, our rate of recovery for replacement for vehicles in the future might not, might not be able to cover. However, we're looking at the leasing program, which is, which is a very um, favorable terms of financing for future fleet replacement. So I, I, I think the whole program is favorable. I, I can't tell you what the magic number is. I know at the committee level, we worked very hard to come up, I guess, to this point. Um, so that would be my only, only negative or only fear is not having the availability to replace the equipment when needed. Can I follow up? Dave, you make a good point. I mean, because I believe you're relying on about $400,000 of interest income annually. And last year, I believe it netted about 100,000 was the positive number. Right. So you could argue you'd be in the deficit, say 300 some thousand dollars. 
Could we adjust the fees to compensate for that? If, if we adjust the rates, the, the impact then affects our operating budget. Right. So then that would be an increase to our, our general budget for the department. And what we're trying to do is hold the line. And I, I think the number that we came up with, with the 4.4 and re, re having the remaining cash reserves as well as the leasing program, I think that ended up right around about $6 million of capacity for replacement, which is right around our full depreciation value of our fleet. So we felt comfortable with that. Um, and so as we as a committee could endorse it, and we endorsed it at the public works level at that rate. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm not here to say you can, you can take more or you can't. I'm just telling you, we, we, we looked at it. It looks good. Um, I'll, I'll be happy to answer questions about the policies of, of how we do replacement of fleet. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, thank you, Chairman Meyer. Um, starting tonight, it, it bothers me to borrow money from this account without paying it back. That's just something I have concerns over, and I have more concerns about draining it even further because at some point it's going to bite us. That's just my feeling. And but what was said tonight makes sense. What uh, President Hanna said tonight makes sense to me. But I am concerned that we don't have a plan to pay it back so that my kids don't have the same debt in the future. In 20 years, 10 years, I don't know how long, we could be in the same situation. So that bothers me the most tonight that we don't have a plan to, to not get to where we are right now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Alderman Klyhunas. Thank you, Chairperson Meyer. I think um, the couple things that come up, um, just for the record, um, Finance Director Gebhardt did recommend this some years ago in the 90s that he recommended us paying down this liability and a, the former financial ad company that advised us said no they didn't think it was a good idea so uh, that has been brought up very seriously by uh, Richard Gephardt himself. Um, the other thing I also think the balance on the um, motor vehicle fund we've got some other things we want to do with that, that balance we want to if we have to pay out for early retirement mm -hmm. money was going to come out of that and then we were going to pay that back at 5.4 percent or five 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 and a quarter percent interest back into the motor vehicle so the money would be paid back by the department that needed that early retirement funds so that's a way in which it can be replenished at least in a small way but I, I agree I there's a lot of people talking about that motor vehicle fund we better keep track of the fact how much is left and, and not think it's just, uh, you know, this piggy bank that everybody's going to go to uh, because it looks a little health healthier than some other funds. Thank you. Alderman Bulk. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I just want to compliment the, uh, the committee on taking a great first step for, for our town uh, and for our committee to, to take this chunk of change and do this very right, smart thing is a big step. And the good news is, is uh, if we keep on going the way we've gone, we'll find more efficiencies in the 2009 budget. We'll find uh, DPW's 300000 that they need uh, to make them whole, and perhaps in the next year, uh, in the intervening year between now and then, we can study this a little more and take that account down even further and pay off some of these debts earlier. Uh, pay off the debt, I'm sorry, the bond that we'd be taking out. There's no penalty for early payment, so again, we pay down this debt even faster. So while we, we haven't completely drained the swamp uh, and gotten it all paid off, this is a great first step, and nothing says that we can't investigate it more in the next year and pay off more a year from now. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Chairman Meyer. And, and actually, I was going to ask basically the same question, because I tend to agree from a gut standpoint with uh, Alder person for Hasselt and saying, let's just ditch it and, uh, and let the secondary program uh, take over from the lease side for municipal vehicles, which is the part I was involved with. But um, I'm willing to, to live with the 4.4 as, as a test. And if we have more money, I, this isn't a bond, so we can, this is actually a loan from the state at five and a quarter. We can always pay next year maybe another half a million or a million once we kind of test this out. I would love to do just what, uh, and I think Dan and I are thinking the same thing here. I would love to do that, and maybe we still can. But I'm willing to give this, uh, based on the, the work that was done by this committee, to come up with this number a shot for just the reasons that Alderperson Bauk mentioned. Thank you, Alderman Gisha. 
Alderman Verhassel. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, could someone explain the lease program impact? Are we that far that we know mu that much about how a lease program may or may not work as it you know, relates to the remaining balance that we have? I would, would have. Alderman Gisha, he did come to the committee and explained um, some options to us. Would you care to sure. go into that? It's, what we did was we took the amount of money that flows in on the interchange fees and the rental fees and looked at that and asked ourselves how much capacity will that bias. For instance, if you bought equipment and did them all on three and four year leases, um, what would be the benefit or the negative of doing that and how much would it cost us? So really what it ended up doing when you did all the calculations, it came up with, to break it right down into like households do it, um, about 50 grand a month in, in payments. Uh, not in payment. Um, actually it was more like 40,000, I'm doing some of this for a minute, about $40,000 a month or roughly a half a million dollars a year in total payments of for fleet. Uh, so for instance, hey, we need a new X, Y, or Z. Well, where are we at in our budget from to keep to make it neutral? So the influx of cash equals the so amount of payment. Is. Well, we can afford it this year, but next year we have a lease running off. Let's buy it next year, because then our payments will be less. Um, and that was the concept with that. So it kind of funds itself with the interchange money. And I understand where uh, Mr. Beeble says we we also had some interest coming in from that because they last year I think they took in about eight hundred thousand dollars into that fund, but that some of that is interest income, some of it is fees from the other department in renting equipment. So uh, we don't know where that happy medium. So maybe it's not forty thousand a month or a half a million dollars a year. Maybe it's more like three hundred thousand dollars a year. We we just don't know that yet. But um, that amount of about forty thousand dollars a month or roughly a half a million dollars a year buys them about six million dollars worth of lease line and that would replace almost our entire fleet. So one of the examples of doing these leases short term, three and four years, is you have newer equipment, more, which has less maintenance, less breakdown. Some of it will have some warranty stuff. So we will have some other phantom savings that's hard to put on paper because you really don't know about those things. Um, and then you either you turn the vehicle back in, or if it's a finance lease, you own the vehicle at the end, and you trade it in. So sometimes you just give it back like you do with a car, other times you own the car at the end of the term and you use it as a trade-in for another thing. So it was a, I think it was an option the committee embraced. Um, and, um, and my final question on this while I still have the, the button on is what does to hold the Department of Public Works harmless mean? <laughs> so if that explains a, at least a little bit about that. I will turn that to you, Alderman Hanna. The, the concept here was to, to design a mechanism in place that that pension liability be attributed to departments by headcount so that there be a cash flow back, so there be a mechanism in place to replace those funds that are leaving. That was the intention of that, was to, was the whole, was to not harm the Department of Public Works by this action. Any further discussion on the motor vehicle fund? My light's not working. You're still on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I guess, just curious before we vote, has there been any discussion over maintaining the unfunded pension? Like after we, we do this, was there any, been any discussion on how we can keep it low? Alderman Hanna. I think once we pay down the principal on this, our recurring contributions now will keep us current. I could be wrong, but I think we're, I think we'll be fine. We, we got, the problem goes, it, it's not something this council created or councils before us. Years ago, when we were absorbed into a, a, a different pension, uh, the actuaries revisited and calculated that we had an unfunded liability. And that has grown over the years. I, you know, 10 years ago, this may have been two, three million dollars. Okay. Alderman Bourne. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just to uh, expand a little bit, Alderman Vanderwilly, I believe our yearly, our yearly uh, amount that we'll have to pay in is going to be between four and five hundred thousand dollars. I think that's what Ms. Buss said or mentioned at a finance committee meeting. And uh, if we make that payment by a certain date, 
uh, we will not have to pay any interest. So what we'll have to do is just budget for what the, what the liability is. And I believe she mentioned that we should know that by, by April of every year what we, you know, what, we have to, what we have to pay in. And as long as it's paid by a certain date, we will not incur any more interest. So we will be keeping it current by paying it by a certain day every year. That's my understanding. Okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in. Uh, you want me to do a roll call? Yes, we will do okay. that. All in favor of the motion, we will do Say a roll aye. call. Say Opposed, nay. Uh, Bourne. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunas. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhassen. Aye. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, yes. Motion passes. Moving on to item number four, which is RC 199-0708 by finance, and it refers to the same. Um, motion to file. We have a motion and a second to file item number four. Any discussion? See none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Item number five is RC 200-0708 by finance, and it is again referring to the Motor Vehicle Committee, the Finance Committee, and the Public Works Committee, which sent a favorable recommendation on the Motor Vehicle Fund. Motion to file. Second. We have a motion and a second to file. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed, motion carries. Item number six is just a housekeeping um, item. We did not act on this when it was presented to us by um, Paulette Enders, and it is RC number 509-0607, and it involves the TIF demonstration that mm -hmm. she presented to us at the last meeting. And I there need a motion also to file. So moved. Second. The motion second to file. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven is RO number one two fifteen O seven O eight by the city clerk. And it is a communication from Alderman Bourne <coughs> about the state pension funds, which we have just addressed. And there I would also entertain a motion to file. Second. We have a motion and second to file. Any further discussion? Alderman. Mike. Alderman, okay. We got two here. Alderman Clayhunas. I want to thank uh, uh, Alderperson Boren, as he's our resident um, reading service <laughs> person. Uh, I don't. I don't mean that lightly. I think he takes a lot of time to read uh, different sources that maybe we don't have time for or we don't have opportunity to see. And I appreciate what I've learned from what he's brought to the council. Absolutely. So thank you. Thank you. Alderman Bourne. I was just going to mention that I, I did bring this article forward late in the last council, and I think it probably kicked off the discussion. Uh, governments in Wisconsin face uh, uh, costs around $17.4 billion beyond what they have already set aside to pay for pensions and other benefits promised to retirees. So uh, when I saw this article, I brought it forward late in the last council and then had it forwarded to this council. So. I just think it kicked off the uh, discussion on the, on the pension fund issue, and I'm glad we're addressing it. Thank you, and I believe you are correct on that. All in favor of filing RO 215-0708, say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Number eight on the agenda, RO number 249-0708, and that is by the city clerk, and it is also a memo to the mayor from Alderperson Groff, Chairman of Finance, dated February 1st, 2007, and this also is regarding the state pension fund. Motion to file. Second. Have a motion and a second to file. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And this brings us down to item number nine. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Thank you. Thank you.